Hey there and welcome to this ProFlows quick tip. I am Cameron and today I'm going to show you how to do a wireframe 3D render inside of After Effects. If you don't know, After Effects CC comes with Cinema 4D Lite. So what we have to do is we have to go and we have to create a new Maxon Cinema 4D file which is right here. Okay, so we click that. It's going to ask us to save out our file. So we'll call this wireframe and it's gonna save a Cinema 4D file. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna launch um, Cinema 4D Lite, and it's gonna launch it here in the foreground, and we're gonna work in Cinema 4D. Okay, so here we are inside of Cinema 4D, and what we're gonna do now is we are going to create a new object. It can be any type of object. I'm gonna use a pyramid, click that. And what's important to note here is that you have to select the object over here in your window and hit C, and that's going to make the object editable. It's very important that you do this for this process to work uh, inside of Cinema 4D Lite. Now, inside of normal versions of Cinema 4D, it's much easier to do wireframe renders, but this is the hack for Cinema 4D Lite. So here we are, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to set a keyframe um, for the rotation of this um, pyramid. I'm gonna go to the end of the timeline here, and I'm just going to make the pyramid rotate 360 degrees around. Type that in really quick. And we're going to set another keyframe. Boom, there we go. And we've got a moving pyramid here. Very simple rotation. So how do we make it wireframe? So we're just going to double click here under textures. We've got our texture. We're going to drag it onto our object here. Double click our texture. We're going to open up the window. Here we go. This is the magic. We're going to turn off color, turn off reflex, reflectance. We're going to turn on luminance and we're going to turn on alpha. Okay. Under alpha, texture, effects proximal shader. There we go. We're going to double click that. Come into it. We're going to turn on vertices, edges, in distance two, and we're going to drag our pyramid right into the objects here. And we're just going to hit a quick render here. And you're going to see it's a wireframe. Great file, save, jump back into After Effects. Inside of After Effects, render settings, standard final, there is our pyramid. And if we preview this at full res, you can see here, it's going to rotate. It's an awesome looking wireframe render. If you wanted this to be something other than white under the luminous channel back in cinema, you could change it to any color you want besides white. But there we go. If you enjoyed this quick tip, ProFlow quick tip, I would invite you to check out ProFlows Plus over at motionscience.tv. It is chock full of techniques, trends, workflows, uh, things, ways to create really awesome work inside of After Effects. That's all I got for you today.